So there's two main sushi chains out here in Japan that I keep coming across. Both of them are conveyor belt sushis. That's being um, Sushi Ro and Kura Sushi. I've never tried Sushi Ro just because the lineups are usually wild and um, I, don't, I don't know, I, I really enjoy Kura Sushi. It's something about the branding. But Sushi Ro was doing a collaboration with Kur Kuromi? Kuromi, I believe? This character right here, I'll put it up on the screen. And uh, I'm a sucker for tuna. So I wanted to compare both of the options. And since it's crab season in Japan, I also wanted to pick up some crab. So crab sushi, shrimp tempura, large sliced tuna red meat, and premium tuna red meat sushi. All that came up to about six bucks Canadian. And I'm actually here to compare it against Kura Sushi. And since I'm here alone, I was able to sandwich myself between uh, two local folks while I go ahead and try this. Premium crab. The wait time for a solo diner was about three minutes and uh, waiting that three minutes to get some of that premium crab was well worth it. The consistency, nice, 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 nice. And now it's time for me to try the tuna. The tuna here is incredible in Japan and the tuna at Sushi Ro was was pretty good. It was pretty good. Not as good as Kura. It did have more of a chew on the premium side and that was surprising. Normally premium sushi, especially on the tuna side, kind of melts. This one was just like really, really chewy. The standard sushi set though, that one there was good, especially since you get two pieces for 100 yen, 140 yen. Or about like a dollar twenty Canadian. That's good value, and that is damn good with a little bit of that wasabi on there. Now on to the actual um, collaboration here. So Kuromi has invaded Sushi Row, and I really, really wanted to try these Kuromi desserts because they were having this like creme brulee sweet potato dessert and that's that's something that's new to me i really want to try that out but first my shrimp has arrived and these shrimpies these are good shrimpies these shrimpies might actually be better than the kura sushi shrimpies and uh i like I, I like shrimp i like shrimp okay on to the dessert the desserts all affordable less than four bucks a piece i want the sweet potato brulee with vanilla ice cream that was 330 yen so my total order came up to about nine dollars total and there it is the sweet potato creme brulee with the vanilla ice cream the creme brulee just cracks so easily and that sweet potato it's, it's very hard to film with just one hand uh that sweet potato is nice and creamy and custardy and that vanilla you can genuinely taste the vanilla bean in there that is a premium dessert and so super affordable one of the best things i've eaten on my trips to japan is this sweet potato dessert and i definitely want to try more of it i know there's some premium shops in asakusa that serve this so i'm gonna have to find one and then go and try it there it is the whew, wonderful dessert i had and uh yeah so Final thoughts, Sushi Bro is pretty good. Is it as good as Kura Sushi? Uh, I would say no, and the wait times is just as long. I'd say, if anything, you know, book Kura Sushi with the app. It's a lot easier, and Sushi Row is decent if, uh, if you don't want to wait. There you have it. Thanks for watching. For more food, travel, gaming, and more, give us a subscribe, and uh, I'll be putting out some more videos from Japan somewhere here on the right. Bye for now.